Hey guys, how we doing? Uh, it is the third day of first season, 2023 Illinois Firearm. Uh, first two days, we seen a few deer. Uh, didn't see no shooter bucks. Seen a eight pointer. He was out about oh, four or 500 yards other end of the field here, tending the doe all afternoon. There for a while, I, she must have been bedded down. He was, I didn't know what he was doing. He just kept going back and forth, back and forth. I knew another was another deer, but I couldn't see him. And then, uh, oh, I don't know, 45 minutes before dark, she came out and he was just running circles around her. He wasn't gonna let her go anywhere. So she must have been pretty close. Or at least he thought she was. Uh, he was not a shooter. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping she's even closer and the shooter will come around tonight and we'll get a poke at him. I don't know, we'll see. There's one shooter out here on my list that I wanna shoot. Uh, the rest of them I'm gonna let walk. I've, got, I've only got pictures of one deer. That's a shooter. The rest of them I'm gonna let walk. They're, their racks are kind of spindly. Not not too bad looking racks, they just, they're looking, they're a little, little spindly so I've got one that uh, doesn't look too bad he's he's got some nice tie lengths some good mass and uh, he's got one broad tie that's a lot taller than the other one so we'll it's pretty easy to spot him but we'll uh, we'll just settle in and uh, it's about 1 30 in the afternoon I don't know if I said that 1 30 in the afternoon about 60 degrees and the uh, the wind is perfect for this stand. It's coming across this field from the east and pushing my my scent back behind me, which is fine. There's a draw right behind me, but I mean, the wind is hardly hardly blowing at all. Only a couple mile an hour. It's just about the most perfect wind there is for this for this uh, this stand. I just wish it was about 20 degrees colder, but. Uh, it is what it is, so we'll just we'll hang out and see if anything happens. That's a nice one. He's chasing something. Yeah, that's a nice deer. That might be my shooter.
All right, fellas. I don't know how much that you can see. I know uh, it was getting pretty dark. We were in the last five minutes of daylight there. Last five minutes of shooting light. And uh, that was the same buck that had his head over the top of the, uh, the hill there. He come right out the last five, well, probably 10 minutes of light. I watched him for a while. I don't know if you guys could even see him. He was following that doe and uh, watched him for a while. I don't know if you could even see him in the camera until he started to run. I know I looked after I shot and I seen him in the camera. I could see him run and I seen him go down out there in the middle of the field. Well, he looked like he had, he looked like my shooter. He had really nice, nice tying length, but he wouldn't turn his head just right to where I could see his brow tine. Uh, that's what I was looking for is his brow tine. And uh, he finally turned his head where I'm pretty sure I seen that tall brow tine. And then it was uh, time to shit or get off the pot. So uh, I went ahead and took him. I got two buck tags and that'll be my first one because he's laying out there in the field. We see him go down. But uh, <laughs> nothing like wait until the very last minute of the first season, their very last light. All right, guys, I'm out here shooting stand. Let's see, where is it at? Oh, right there. There's my shooting stand. Right there. He was standing right out here. I found zero blood, but uh, I was kind of thinking I might not because the angle that I shot him at. I think I probably cleaned him out is what I probably did. He's right over there somewhere. So let's see if we can find him. I don't see him from here. Let's see if we can find him. Need some more crap to carry. All right, let's see if we can find this boy. Oh, oh. He's right there. Looky there. I'm not sure if he's my shooter or not. I can't remember if, I can't remember if my shooter. I was thinking there was more of a difference in them tines. That might be him, I'm not sure. Let's put some stuff down here and take a look at him. All right, right there is why there wasn't any blood, per se. Because this is how I shot him in an angle. That right there should have went through and cleaned him out. Well, that should have took out his lungs right there at the angle he was at. That's why there wasn't no blood. It probably uh, didn't come out the other side. We'll see. All right, here you go, fellas. That is my shooter. He's got this longer tine right here. I believe. I'm about to check my pictures. But I believe this is my shooter. But uh, this is the guy I seen earlier, just over top the hill, just on the other side. I must have looked at him for three minutes straight. And the only thing I could see was these tines, uh, just sitting over top the hill, kind of blended in with the uh, corn stalks. I was thinking to myself, man, those are, uh, that corn stalks really looks like deer antlers. But I watched them, watched them, they never moved. I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. I was about ready to grab out my gun, look through the scope, like getting a little closer. 
And hell, he finally moved. I was like, well, shit, that is, that is a deer. But yeah, he's a, uh, he's a nice one. Last five minutes, last day, the first season. And I'm tickled with him. It's like, uh, he's a couple hundred pounds. We'll get a lot of good meat out of him too. Heck yeah. All right, let's get some help. Get this thing loaded up. All right, guys, this is it. This last day. The last day of 2023 Illinois muzzleloader. I made it out yesterday afternoon. Uh, didn't have any luck. I could have shot a small one, but uh, we don't want to do that. But uh, yesterday, got about 10 yards from my box blind, and two blue jays were up above it, just started going crazy. <laughs> And then uh, shortly after they went crazy, a buck and a doe took off out the other side and nosed at the wind running that way. It's like, geez, I can usually get in this stand and uh, not spook anything in this draw, but when you got birds going crazy, it's, it's kind of tough. I'd probably been better off firing my muzzleloader. It would have spooked him less. But uh, then today, I get about 10 yards from the stand and a bunch of starlings spooked out of the tree right there. And I stood there for a while and let it settle back down, but they, there was four deer in this, in this draw right here. You know, they was already wondering what spooked them birds. So I started up in here and they spooked and ran out, ran out that way. So I don't know, I'm educating them real quick. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's uh, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so we got a little three hours to sit. So, maybe by dark, we'll have something come in. We'll see. All right, guys, uh, I think I just got me a doe. Uh, there was three and two ran off. And they were the two younger ones. They ran out here kind of looking around like they didn't know what was going on. So those were definitely the two younger ones. And I think she's just right over, right over the hill there, I'm hoping. Uh, we'll give it a couple minutes. I'll run over there and see if we can find her. All right, let's go over and see if she's over here laying. I believe she is, but we will see.
Christina right over there. Which she must have took off running. Oop. There she is right there. Huh. Alright, there you go, fellas. That's a nice big Illinois whitetail right there. Nice big doe. Get a lot of good meat. I'll let you get a better look at her. I'm guessing she's, she's 115, 115 pounds, I'll bet you. We'll put her on the scale, see what she weighs. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with that. A lot of good meat in the freezer. Let's uh, go get the truck, we'll get her tagged, load it up. Alright, take it back there. Good sized dough. 